As we get closer and closer to the primaries, all the Democratic candidates are learning that while the beginning of the race was fun and games, once you get into crunch time, people start digging into your history. And this weekend, everyone was talking about a confrontation involving Joe Biden, the candidate with the most history. Democratic frontrunner Joe Biden just got into it with a local voter. Words were exchanged and then a challenge. I've got two problems with you. One is you're damn near as old as I am. You're selling access to the president just like he was. So you you're a to... damn liar, man. That's not true. And no one has ever said that. And you want to check my shape on, let's do push-ups together here, man. Let's do, let's run. Let's do whatever you want to do. Let's take an IQ test, okay? Uh, I didn't one... say you were doing anything wrong. I you said... said I set up my son to work in an oil company. Isn't that what you said? I... Get your word straight, Jack. Look, fat, look, here's the deal. Here's the deal. It, lo it looks, it looks like you don't have any more backbone than Trump does when you're, you're selling it. Whoa. Damn. That got testy. There's also a weird moment, though, you have to admit. This guy said he was concerned that Biden might be too old to run for president. And then instead of addressing the man's concerns, Biden challenged him <laughs> to push-ups? <laughs> you realize, Joe Biden, this could have ended terribly. <laughs> because what if that old man beat Biden? Hmm? Now, he's the Democratic frontrunner, right? <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. We've all watched Black Panther. If you beat the guy in charge, you become the guy in charge. That's how it works. That's how it works. Would've been push-ups, the old guy would've ripped off his shirt, like, is this your nominee? Is this your nominee? And then every one of those old white people in the town hall would've been there, like, oh. <laughs> At a campaign event, Biden had a bizarre response to a voter who asked whether he can win a national election. Watch this. How do you explain the performance in Iowa, and why should the voters believe that you can win the national election? It's a good question. Number one, I was a Democratic caucus. You ever been to a caucus? No, you haven't. You're a lion dog faced pony soldier. You said you were, but you're. you're now you gotta be honest. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. Biden didn't like that woman's answer. And he didn't just call her a liar. He called her a lying dog-faced pony soldier. And those, those are strong words that... that I don't really understand at all. <laughs> like, what, what, what is that? Is it, is it a pony that's a soldier with a dog's face? <laughs> is that what that is? Or is it a soldier with a dog's face on a pony? <laughs> also, why is this creature lying? Is it catfishing people? Who are you? I'm a girl in Ohio. <laughs> You're a lying dog-faced pony. So, like, what does that mean? And everyone, everyone's been wondering where this phrase came from. And Biden's campaign said that it's a quote from an old John Wayne movie. But here's the thing, nobody has been able to find this in any John Wayne movie. <laughs> And I guess that's the beauty of quoting something from before the internet was invented. That shit isn't Googleable. You can just make it up. FDR said that chlamydia killed the dinosaurs. Prove me wrong. <laughs> Things might be looking up for Biden, but it doesn't mean it's a done deal, right? He still has opponents in this race. Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, and billionaire in a booster seat, Mike Bloomberg. <laughs> but the most difficult opponent Joe Biden still has to overcome is himself. Biden in a good position, but his campaign is still plagued by more gaffes. All right, Chuck, thank you very much. Uh, all right, uh, it's Chris, I but mean, anyway. Chris. I just did Chris. Yeah. No, no, I, I, I just did Chuck. I tell you what, man, these are back to back. Look, tomorrow's Superstar Tuesday, and I want to thank you all. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the, go, you know the, you know the thing. <laughs> Yo, this is not good. <laughs> Just in the past 24 hours, Joe has gaffed everything from the name of a TV anchor he was talking to to the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> and the name thing on its own is bad because interviews are, are sort of like sex. It doesn't matter how well it goes. If you call the person the wrong name at the end, the whole thing is ruined. <laughs> why Biden is still bothering... Like, this is why, like, my life hack... My life hack is that I just stay away from people's names, right? I just call everybody buddy. Yeah. <laughs> that way I can never mess up. Just like, hey, buddy. Great seeing you, buddy. Yeah. And then they're like, stop calling me buddy. I'm your mother. And I'm like, you got it, chief. 